Hey, what is up, guys? Wicked95 here, back with another video. Welcome to Wicked's Action Figure Reviews, and today I am back with another full review to do for you guys. This time I have the WCW Monday Night War uh, Ultimate Edition Brett the Hitman Heart. Um, these figures are Walmart exclusive. Um, they should have been hitting uh, Walmart a while ago, actually. Um, right now we are getting the Mankind and the Eddie Guerrero from this same uh, Monday Night War WCWs. Um, Ultimate, um, the well, series two, Mankind and Eddie Guerrero, but um, personally, I haven't seen any. My brother did pick up the Mankind. I do need the Mankind and the Eddie too. I would like to have uh, two of each of those to put in my collection. But um, these uh, were easier to find. Apparently, the other ones are harder. Uh, so I got a, a second set here of the Bret Hart. I also have the Rowdy Piper coming up next, guys. So stay tuned for that review. But let's jump straight into this uh, full review, guys. The Brett, the Hitman Heart, WCW Monday Night War um, Ultimates here. Series 1. Uh, third Brett Hart in the Ultimate set, um, I believe. Uh, I don't. Well, he has a Coliseum exclusive uh, with Jim the Anvil, and I think that was it. Um, so basically, four. If counting this one, I don't know if the other one is released yet or not, but here is the red packaging here of the ultimate exclusives for each store. The red right here with Bret Hart. You have the W the WWF logo or WWE logo in the back. Raw October 27th, 1997. I'm glad they included these and some of those. Um, this is the first one that, that they actually included date on these. Uh Bret Hitman Hart on the back here. You have him post and then you have him here in the like a shot of the match or whatever here is the uh, some stats right here and some info of him as well so you guys want to read that right there go ahead and pause the video here but yeah wcw the monday night wars um these are this whole line of the monday night wars exclusive to walmart you got the ultimate editions um and then you also have the um build day figures for the for those elites as well which um i have wave two and wave one up here this is wave uh, two with the Rey mysterio diesel nash and triple h in the back behind them it's stone cold undertaker razor ramon and um hulk hogan and uh, you build a lex luger for wave one and you build the teddy long for wave two but anyways let's uh let's see what we have in these in this packaging right here you get three pairs of heads um honestly they don't even look like bret hart to be honest you have these uh shades that look way better than the ones that we've gotten before uh we have extra arms for the match uh or well you're gonna when you use them in a match and then you have the arms right here with the jacket for the entrance you have a winged eagle wwe championship and you have three pairs of interchangeable hands, two right here on the packaging, and then you have uh, the other ones in the um, figure. So let's crack it open, guys, and uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at how this ultimate is. I also have his other two ultimates, uh, the best of ultimate edition series. Uh, I think that was from series two, the Bret Hart. And I also have the Target exclusive Bret Hart, which I feel like that one was not too long ago that we got him. And now we got another Target exclusive. Uh, there is the Bret Hart there now. Here is the bubble wrap or in the bubble here. Bret Hart. Bret Hart heads, which we'll look into those in a little bit later. The shades. You have the belt here. The winged eagle. We've gotten several times with the various ultimate editions as well. You have the extra arms. Here are extra hands, but I'm going to pull these out of the thing because they have a zip tie or a tie. But I don't really care for the tie. So I'm just going to rip that open. Probably, yeah. Figured that he had one or two. There's a couple of them on his arms. Out. 
Mexico. Easy. Brett the Hitman Hart here. Well, actually, let's uh, check his heads here. This one is just weird, man. I feel like he doesn't even look like him there. Then you have this one that has like a yelling head. So he looks kind of like um, a bit more. Eh. They all kind of suck, to be honest. Um, I hope with the shades they'll fit better. I might put this screaming one, even though we already have one kind of like that. I don't know. They all kind of don't even look like them. They kind of whack. Also, the figure feels small. He also has the uh, closed-fisted hands. Or not closed-fisted hands. He has the uh, my open mic hands on the figure here. But you do have closed-fisted hands, which you've seen thousands of times. And these um, open palm hands as well, uh, which my figures kind of already have those. So I don't know what to do there. <clears throat> we also have the extra hands, extra arms with the elbow pads to put on them. Once we need them in the ring gear. And the Wing Deco WWE Championship was probably one of the best things in this thing. It is very, very flexible, which is very nice. I like this championship. Looks good. I don't know if I'm going to be putting on that there or have them with the title out. And then these shades. These are um, like a metallic pink, which they look way better in my opinion. They look cool. I like these shades. We're going to be popping onto them. Uh, and as you're going to see here later, once I bring out the other figures, um, the shades on those kind of not are not that good. But he also comes with this jacket that is removable. It says Hitman on the back. Heart Foundation with the school. Looks really nice. He has all black. This is the first uh, black gear Bret Hart that we get in the Ultimate line. All black with pink outlines uh, with white and the flames. Hitman on the sides here. You have the star on the bottom. You have the other star. I think the boots are all the same, though, on all the other figures. So, that's nothing new. But, <clears throat> you got the jacket, arms, and everything. But with, with this, you have some pretty good range of articulation. With the arms, it's not bad. But, you get everything. Double jointed elbows, which have mine are kind of, like, stuck. Rotation on the on the... And the vice swap. And then you also have the um, ability to take them out. Like so. And then you take, take off the jacket as well. Oh, he does have these cool details on the leather. Um, the zippers. And then the strap right here. The buckle. Looks pretty cool. So then uh, you just grab one of these hands. I don't think it matters. I don't think it has a left or a right hand. Because you can just move them. And then you, you have the Bret Hart right here. And uh, let's let's see. We can put these on there. Put that on there. But he looks weird, man, honestly. Double jointed elbows. Pretty good. Uh, bicep swivel. You have a whole arm, like the whole arm moves all the way 360. You have this butterfly joints that are like kind of loose on mine for some reason. Uh, wrist rotation. And you have this waist upper 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 thors, torso rotation, waist rotation. You have a ability to kick him hella high. Look at that! Wow. And not only that, but he does have the drop down hips. On this figure, you have um, upper thigh cut, double jointed knee. If if it lets me, I think these are pinless now. Yeah, they're pinless. That's why they're so freaking hard to to move. But honestly, I don't like the combination of the pinless and the 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 the, the, the drop down hips because it just makes it kind of hard to put back together after you pose them. Um, upper boot cut. You have some ankle pivot. And you have some toe hinge articulation as well. Um, yeah, let's put the glasses on this on this head right here. See how it fits. If it looks good, I might just keep it. It doesn't even go in there, man. I'm trying to find the path. Eh, that looks alright. 
it doesn't look that bad on this head scan this head scan that he kind of looks high not offense now this one's also not bad either and then you have these this one that's kind of like always the same as the other ones put that up there yeah this one looks the coolest like with the glasses but I already have a head scan kind of like this, so I might, I might just do the one that is kind of like, it's like a, like a grin, <laughs> this one right here. Yeah, I think this one's going to be the winner for me, for, for now, so let's keep the glasses on, um, let's put back the other arms with the jacket and the jacket, we're going to put that on there. I think that's how I'm going to pose them with the jacket and everything. Okay, this is on this side. Cool. That one's on. This one's on. Nice. He is. Oh, he also black knee pads. I, I totally missed that part right there. Now we can have him with championship. They're kind of like this. That's how I might pose him. There he is, guys. Brett, the Hitman Heart Ultimate Edition. Uh, Walmart exclusive for the WCW Monday Night War sets for the Ultimate Edition line. Um, here is the Target exclusive. You can see this is just like a straight up pink, like colored matte colored uh, sunglasses. But the gear on this one looks dope. I like the uh, arms, the whole like flames and everything on there. And then this is the WC, the, this is the, um, Best of Wave 2 from the Bret Hart Ultimate Edition Series 2. Well, I think it was Wave 1, actually. But uh, the Ultimate, the original Ultimate was Series 2 with Shinsuke Nakamura. But like I was saying, with the, I think they all kind of have the same, same boots. Oh, no. These two have the same boots. This one has the bigger star, and it's pink. This is all black outline. But let me know which one's your favorite Ultimate, guys. I think for me... My old, my favorite is the this one right here. Um, I know he has done several uh, elites in kind of the same gears that we've seen right here, but in the ultimate line, I like, I like these two right here. Um, might like if I were to do a head swap on that one, put a different head on it, it would look better. But, anyways, guys, that has been it. Make sure to go follow my Instagram, my TikTok, and here on YouTube at WAFR nine five. Subscribe guys. We're on the road to 800 subs and we're going to be doing the giveaway for sure Make sure to share those videos so we can get tons of new subs uh, Hopefully by the end of the year we get to reach that 800 sub mark uh, Yeah, so there's a lot more coming guys. I'm trying to work on something new um, With the stop motions. I just haven't had time to really sit down and uh, Kind of figure out that part, but I am still trying to do that and once I get that down I'm you guys are going to see a lot more content from that, whether it's going to be on TikTok here on YouTube, uh, maybe some shorts here and there. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But stay tuned for more content, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.